This video will be about how to recreate a domain users group and also an administrator account, the administrator account. Uh, we'll concentrate specifically on the domain users group, but this also applies to the administrator account on, on how you can do this. Now, as you know, uh, you have a inside DSFW you have some default groups and users one of them is administrator you want to keep that there don't rename it don't modify it just really want to keep that there and domain users group and if we look at it it's got all of the the members uh, all users are members of this group and it's done automatically uh, the provisioning will of the user at the time of uh, when it's created uh, it will automatically be provisioned and be added as a member of this group that's that's part of the provisioning and this group is unique and that we'll, we'll do this uh, something on, on this uh, um, this one so we'll, we can keep it up and bring it back for reference but if we do a WB info dash and we'll, we'll take a look at and you can escape it or put quotes around for the domain users group but if we see it has part of its SID the the RID has to be 513 it's very important so you, our administrator has a specific RID uh, that is assigned domain group domain users group has a specific RID that's assigned so that's very important so if you just go and recreate a group and call it domain users group it's not going to function properly so we'll keep this and uh, bring this back down uh, and use it for reference. Uh, we've got, we'll go into our domain users uh, and actually just delete this. And so we can see now it's gone. Now let's do another WB info dash N and this time we'll use quotes domain users. It brings, comes up, you're like, how does that happen? it's been deleted well that's cached so we'll do RC WB info or W not WB info sorry win bind and a restart and let's come back and do another and as you can see it is gone it that user is or that group is removed completely so let's uh, what we're gonna do is create this this group and something when, when th this group is created by with a series of LDIF files all DSFW objects are and what's nice is you can go back and create all of those and uh, we'll use a GUI way a little easier to uh, copy and paste and just you know uh, put it to files and so you can see it so the location is in the var opt novel xad ds domain and inside uh, here even inside the ds container there's there's uh, other other contain uh, not containers folders uh, or directories that that have ldif files so if we I mean we can come in here and see like all of our dns records if we need to recreate our dns records they're right here so these specific the, the domain users group is specifically it's created here if I so this is the first part of it uh, if we come down to the oh sorry you know what this has been I was uh, playing around with this before oh sorry and oh no there we go domain user sorry this is the one we want okay domain user sorry not administrator we're not gonna create the administrator that's uh, like did I do something different that's not supposed to be there anyway here we go we're gonna copy this and make a new file and we'll save it we'll save it to the desktop and we'll just call it create domain users dot ldiff that's the first one the next one is this domain LDIF. If we open that and again we'll now we'll be able to search and find go right to it because there's a lot more objects in here to get modified. So we want to start with the DN and work our way down till we get to the next DN. So we can see everything that's all the attributes that are modified. 
and these are the three attributes modified. So if we copy, do new, and if we paste it in here, we'll save this as modify domain domain users dot ldiff. And again, save this on the desktop. There we go. Those are the two files to create it and then to modify it. Now, it's, to do that, you're going to need to use the um, LDAP or uh, the LDAP, not LDAP, LDAP modify and LDAP add uh, tools within DSFW. And let's just verify. We want to make sure we're using the open LDAP ones. So if we do a which LDAP add there we go and then a oh, which LDAP modify user bin that's where we want it to be okay so let's do the uh, first we need to in order to use it we need to export the the uh, LDAP conf so if we export or we can do it all in the same line but we'll just export it export the LDAP conf equals dash Etsy opt novel xad open ldap ldap conf. That will allow us to do uh, to to use that tool and to um, uh, properly so that it will automatically uh, uh, um, give us the credentials to to uh, run ldap modify. So let's just do ldap or ldap add and ldap modify. So we'll do an ldap add dash f. And let's go. Um, we're in desktop, so we'll do create domain users. So this is real quick. Make sure F5 not there. Create. We can see it's been created. We come back. F5 domain users is there. Now our problem is if we do a WB. Let's just clear this one more time. WB info dash n domain users. We can see the RID is totally off. It needs to be 513. So how can we fix that? That is where that the modify comes in. So we need to do the LDAP modify dash F and that was modify domain users. All right, we've done it. Now, if we do one more time, look at the domain users, say, oh, it's the same thing. Ah, we forgot to restart WinBind. Remember to do that, otherwise, this is cached information. So, WB info dash n again domain users oh yeah, sorry what am I doing I didn't restart RC win bind restart domain users 513 there we go Had a little lapse there in my memory of what I was doing so you can see this was before this is after exactly the same now, let's uh, let's let's do an LDAP search. Uh, we'll do it with a GSS uh, API, uh, and in order to do that GSS API method. In order to do that, first of all, we need to export the sassel underscore path equals and it's op novel xad lib 64 since this is 64 bit if you it's if it's not it's just lib and sassel uh, sassel 2 that's now that that's exported we also need a ticket so k init administrator oh, I don't think I put the password in correctly let me do it one more time k init administrator there we go now we've got a ticket so let's just do a LDAP search dash y GSS API uh, dash LLL dash Q 
dash b for our base and it's going to be cn equals domain users comma cn equals users comma and you can just put o or we can put in our dc equals dsfw comma dc equals novel comma dc equals com we do a search that's it as you can see members not there let's just uh, filter on that so you can see for sure nothing there for as far as members go uh, so we need to to populate that uh, get with all of our users and to do that you just need to resamify the uh, the users so let's there's a tool with sp3 called domain control and you can do dash dash help dash dash list to list all the partitions that are part of the domain here we'll just do a dash dash sam samify now you can see we have these three partitions right here uh, the the o where it's mapped to the domains mapped to and then B, c and b are part of the the uh, our partitions and they're part of the domain so we're going to need to do all of these so, so we'll start with the everything that is inside the O container or really the O partition so let's go through it'll resamify these objects it's not if they're already samified as far as they have the SAM account name and, and all that that that's not going to be touched it's just going to make just kind of verify that everything's correct it'll determine oh the user is not uh, part of the domain users group so let's go and add it so again our LDAP search and we're going to filter on members and did I oh sorry member membership not members oh is it the member oh member eh member there we go sorry about that okay so you can see all the users that are inside that partition are samified we don't have anybody in the B and C containers because those are different partitions. So we'll just do resamify those. Number two, number three, and we do our search on members. There you can see B is part of it, and if we went up see they're all members now so we've got it all right back to where it was uh, again um, that, that that's it's pretty simple to do not not a lot to it uh, just go through and, and it's all there for you all the the eldest are there to recreate domain users administrator uh, your even if you need to your uh, uh, um, DNS records uh, it's all there. So I hope that was uh, helpful and uh, get you back uh, running normally if, if somehow the domain users got accidentally deleted. Thanks for watching.